the ASMR. You know, right? Uh, what up? What up? What up? Good people out there in the Ninja Nation. It's your boy Scooter Ray, aka Scooter Lou, along with Cosmic Boss. You know, two thirds of the less than stealthy ninjas. Shout out what to up, the third ninja, Aron. You miss. Um, and we are gathered here today because we will talk about episode one of The Last of Us. Um. Before we continue, boss, do you know how many episodes nine. it's supposed to be? Nine? nine? Okay. All right. So nine episodes. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go through these. We're going to go through the show episode by episode. And we're also going to compare it to where they take place within the game as well. Right. So there will be spoilers of both the show and the game. Um, this will kind of be a companion piece because some people never played the game. Some people might just be watching the show. So it's going to be kind of a companion piece to both. And Boss and I will try our best not to spoil future things. Right. We're going to try to keep it contained. It's, it's going to be contained on the show, on the episode of the show that happened previously. So yes, there so will be no spoilers gonna... for anything that comes after the episode yes. you see. So with that being said, before we get into the breakdown of the episode and also where it takes place in the game, boss, why don't you give them an overview of what the show and game is about? The Last of Us. Uh, I remember when they announced it. Like what was it, twenty eleven? Something like uh, that, yeah. Because the, the game released in 2013. Yes, because the game takes place in 2033, which is one of the differences between the show, yeah. uh, the time. So when they announced it, I remember that was in the heyday of the zombie craze. The Walking mm-hmm. Dead, the Resident Evil, so everything was going on. You know, so you had like all these different zombie movies. All of that, and, so, yeah. everything. and so you know, people were talking about like you know, they were kind of burnt out from zombies and stuff like that. And it was like, okay, yeah, another zombie game. Uh, even if Naughty Dog was doing it now, you know, Naughty Dog, known for Crash Bandicoot, Uncharted, Jack and Daxter, is still people were still on the fence about it. But mm-hmm. the game takes place. Uh, The game and the show take place in different times, but they generally are an outbreak happens due to this fungal parasite uh, called cordyceps. Now, when they infect people, it turns them into walkers, runners, clickers, all that kind of thing. Um, And they seek out other people to infect, to help spread the infection, like the show explained. Uh, the game doesn't really expa- explain that. They, The game basically explains none of that. You just see people getting infected, and you know this is a type of zombie that you have to combat or sneak around. So the, the show uh, expands on that m- much bigger and much more beautifully. Yeah. But yeah. It's about a character named Joel Miller from Texas. Uh, his daughter, his brother, they, uh, what you saw on the show happened in the game. Uh, m- most of, uh, some of what you saw on the show happened in the game because they expanded yeah. on it quite a yeah. bit. Uh, but essentially, uh, stuff happens. His daughter gets shot. He, it, 20 years later, he is surviving in this DMZ of Boston, run by Fedra with Tess, they get basically tasked to take Ellie from here to the state to the state capitol building, and uh, to drop her off to other Fireflies because she's important. That's all you know at this That's point. All you know, and, and literally in the game, takes off from there. Takes off from there. Now, now. to mm-hmm. rewind what Boss said earlier, that was one thing the show did differently. With that clip from 1968, where the, where, the, where the scientists explained it, you get none of that. You get none game. of that. Like the game starts you off, and it it is it, it starts with Marlene 
talking about giving the whole Firefly Creed, and it shows like what you saw on the show, the little fungus ex- uh, expanding and how it infected the world. Mm-hmm. It does that in the game, but you don't get the scientists. Nope. That offered a much more chilling foreshadowing of what's to come than the game did. So, it, like, but, uh, <laughs> it was funny because Mrs. Ladybug and I was watching the uh, show, and I was like, Imagine you sitting in the audience and now you thinking to yourself, this is a hell of an episode I picked to come watch. Right. Like, I'm all sad now. <laughs> like, right. Like, like, you could tell it was some kind of comedy type talk show. Yes. Because the host kept trying to crack jokes. But these two dudes up there, these two guests, we did serious, fam. Like, exactly. what are you Especially the about? one who was like, like no. <laughs> just imagine something taking over your body to where now you just become a marionette and everything. And essentially, that's what Naughty Dog essentially did differently with their zombie thing. Because once again, basically, if we really want to put it in perspective, Naughty Dog told a better story of the happening than the happening. And if you remember right. the happening, that was the Mark Wahlberg movie made by M. Night Shyamalan with the whole... The earth was producing this. The trees and the wind. Yeah, they were producing <laughs> this thing that was making humans kill themselves. They basically told a better story of the happening because, once again, just like how the show did it and just like how the game, we don't know where this came from. No. We don't know where it originated. We don't know if it was a, if it was an experiment gone wrong, if the earth was just like, hey, yo, say, fam. I'm getting tired of y'all. We don't know where this right. like, disease comes from. Now, like, like when the show, it, it was talking about they were getting radio broadcasts and news reports, something mm-hmm. out of Jakarta, uh, which is the capital of Indonesia and all this, that, mm-hmm. and the other. Uh, but nobody knows for sure because it's happening worldwide. Mm-hmm. In the game, you find journals and, and notes and other stuff. It still you doesn't tell you. Mm-hmm. It's like, some journals say they think it started in South South America, some in Africa, some uh, in South Asia. Like, there's nowhere known where this stuff came from. Mm-hmm. And, like, what I also think the show did a lot better, they gave Sarah more time than you had with her yeah, in the game. Because when you start off with the game, you start off playing with Sarah. Yes. And if you're seeing, of course, if you watch the episode when Sarah answers his phone in the middle of the night, that's when you start off playing with her. So that build up they gave, because like I compared it when I did my first impressions video, what they did with Sarah is what they did with Ellie and Up. Mm -hmm. And that first 15 minutes up, how they made you fall in love with Ellie. And then next thing you know, boom, Ellie did. And you're like, wait, huh? Right. (laughs) Right. So, like, it, it's exactly the same because that first 15 <laughs> minutes set the motivations of the characters for the rest of that movie. Like, in the in the game, you it starts off with her talking to Joe, him coming back at night, her giving him the watch. This is verbatim one for one that happened in the show mm-hmm. in the game. She goes to sleep. He comes rushing in the house. This is the difference yes. between what that happened in the game. He comes rushing in the house, talk about lock the doors, blah, blah, blah. And the neighbor comes over and breaks through the glass trying to kill them, and Joel shoots him. Yes. But in, in the, show, the, fact that, the fact that in that first part of the show, you get this beautifully written part with Sarah and Joel and Tommy, how you get that dynamic. And, you know, they're following Sarah. She's at school. She's getting a present. So, right. once again, this is where you know if you play the game, you you know you we're going to get that happening. world pool. We know right. that world pool is going to happen. For those of you who had not played the game and those of you who did not look up anything or had not seen anything, my heart to you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because the whole time, I'm sitting there like, Damn, I know she ain't making it. Right. Like, when she, <laughs> I know, I'm sitting there like, I'm watching it. And when I saw her, I was like, oh, no. 
No, right? no, no. Right? Like, no, I'm I'm look, <laughs> that. But then what was even fucked up was in my head, it was like, maybe she might. <laughs> yeah. 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 They might change it. They might change it. When she went to the house of the neighbor, I was like, they changing it. What's going to exactly. happen? And she got out of there, I was like, oh, it was no. again, to even show how the show did a little more liberties. When Sarah went to the house before she went back home, you can see the grandma in the wheelchair slowly changing in the background. You can no. see her reacting back to once again, the game gave us none of that. Exactly. The game also didn't give you the signs of the infection like yes. the show did. Because I was pausing it throughout just to catch shit <laughs> to look for Easter mm-hmm. eggs. When they when it fast forwarded 20 years and they found that little boy and they wheeled him in there. If you saw the sign on the wall, it said, look for these signs of infection. It gave you the timelines of what happens mm-hmm. when you're bitten or stretched. If you remember when it was following Sarah, it said loss of appetite. The grandmother mm-hmm. wouldn't eat in the, in the morning. Yep. When she was in school, that boy was sitting and had his wrist shaking. And he said muscle spasms. It also said coughing. Remember, somebody was in there coughing. And in this day and age, over the last three years, when somebody coughs, everybody here going to be like, hold on now. <laughs> so like they were dropping hits and like uh, like not just the police barreling down the streets everywhere and this that and the other which but, once again great on the show for doing that world building because now you're slowly seeing what's happening right like, what's happening because once again in the game it just kicks off we don't exactly. get that slow build because once again so now let's fast forward Sarah goes to the neighbors. Joel and Tommy pull up in the truck. Sarah, get in the car. No, it was Tommy shoots the neighbor. Sarah was like, oh, my God, you killed him. He was coming at us. They go outside. Tommy pulls up. Get the truck. Let's go. So from what Mm -hmm. we see with them driving in the truck and them, it's very parallel. Right. The house being on fire. The world is going crazy. Very parallel. And they and to fast forward past all that in the beginning, they let they expanded some stuff and and made it less ambiguous than the game did. Yeah. So uh the stuff the stuff they made less ambiguous, Joel and Tess's relationship. There was never they never showed anything. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. We'll get that. Okay. We'll get that. But so uh, other than now, that so now man. everything that showed with Tommy and Tommy getting separated from Joel and uh, Sarah. That all happens. And we see the scene where, of course, the 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 knife in the gut, the knife in the kidney. Whew. Yes, Sarah. I mean, yes, Joel has Sarah in his arms. They run into the army guy. And Joel is like, once again, like in the show, in the game, we're not infected. We're not, we're not sick. We're not Tommy sick. Dude just shoots, and like you see, the same reaction Joel had in the show, same thing that happened. And then, of course, we get the gut punch that Sarah was hit a couple of times, and it was like, damn, right? Damn. Like, like in the game, it's you don't hear the soldier talking a lot. No. Like you hear him speak, but when he goes to talk on the radio and get his orders, you don't hear him say much after that. He was like. He's like, sir, we got a we got a guy and a kid here. And he was like, sir, it's a kid. And mm-hmm. that's when he just says nothing else, puts the, the talk him back on his clip and raises the gun. That's it. Like, mm-hmm. man. It- <laughs> and then, too, to get the gut punch of seeing Sarah dying on the floor and Joel is like, no, 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 no. You good. You good. You good. And Tommy was like, Joe. Right. Joe. And it cuts back to her. Like, cause when he's like, you're good, you're good. She's still like whimpering and alive. Mm-hmm. When it cuts to Tommy, he's like, Joe. Cuts back to her. She is gone. She's like, gone. Like it. It, 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 it hit. 
it hit just as hard in 2023 as it hit it just as hard in 2013. It's just as hard, man. Now, like huh. now, before we get into the second half of the show, you see the gut punch of what happens. 20 years has passed and nothing was ever solved. Mm-hmm. You see, 20 years has passed and the world has went to, to just destruction and ruin. So that's one thing different than a typical zombie situation. Normally, it's contained within that time frame of the movie or of the show, other than like Walking Dead. But right. in this case, you see 20 years passed. Nothing was ever solved. Right. Like every other zombie property, you could see some semblance of humanity fighting back and or gaining the upper hand. There's, this is not that show or game. This is like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I this mean, is not I that. Mean, well, like Boss just said, because once again, you get that gut punch of seeing the kids. He goes to the thing and they're like, hey, you bit, hey, we got plenty of toys for you. We got the food you can get, blah, blah, blah. And then two, three minutes later, you see right. Joe dumping the body in the pyre. And it's like, ding. And that was it. And that little, uh, was it not, was it's the term symbolism? Anyway, when, when him, when the woman undoes the truck and sees the, the kid, Mm -hmm. She's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And then you put an old buddy next to her is revealed to be Joel. He looks at him and he's like, I got it. He doesn't say anything. He just starts carrying him like he did Sarah. Mm -hmm. And at this point, you can see he is broken. <laughs> 20 I mean, years you gotta later, think you gotta he's think. still broken. You got to think. You survived in this world for 20 years. Not only did you survive in this world for 20 years, but your daughter died in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And you constantly seen what the world was and what it has evolved into. I looked over to Mrs. Ladybug and I was like, I'm pretty sure I ain't survived. <laughs> <laughs> look, 20 years? Look, let me tell you where I would have survived. And like... <laughs> Well, I probably wouldn't have survived because I would have had to stop and think. When they were driving in the truck and that family was on the side of the road. Yes. I'm like, we just gonna leave these people? I would have been one of them. I would have raised the question. Now, if I was driving, I probably wouldn't have stopped because I'd have been like, we gotta go. <laughs> but we gotta find somewhere to go. But like, yeah, that kind of questioning <laughs> like, mm, mm I, I can't be ruthless. I ain't ruthless. But yes. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like you said, when they wheeled him in there, and they did that check without him noticing, and it bleep, it bleeped red, and she saw it, didn't say a word. How about we get you some food and some toys? Would you like that? Gave him an injection. That boy was done. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the word. Like, it set it up so much better because in the game, you're just walking through the zone. Joe doesn't <laughs> even. Joe doesn't even have a job. He's just walking through, mm -hmm. and you just see people getting tested. One tries to run, he gets shot right mm -hmm. down the street. Nothing else comes from them building the world in the game. Oh. And you just it, dropped off. You just know you in Boston, and you just right, <laughs> right. <laughs> so you just like, oh man. But like, but like Boston was saying earlier. You eventually meet Tess. You see that Joel and Tess relationship. Like I said, you you basically know that Joel knows Tess, and that's about it. Like right. that, that's not too much of like, a like when she crawled in the bed with him. I'm like, okay, expand on that shit then, because yeah. in the game, there's none of that. Like it is not even alluded to that they stay in the same building. <laughs> like, like the only time you see is later, and she says something to him, but. Back to this one. When you when you first meet her, she is talking about some dude she just basically unalived. I'm gonna say that yeah. and talk about. And this is where uh, she starts talking to Joel about Robert. Talk about Robert has our uh, in the games. It's guns, not a car battery. Mm -hmm. So Robert has our guns. He tried to screw us. Let's go get him. So 
That's this is your tutorial mission essentially in the game. You're taught how to sneak, how to listen, how to take out people stealthily and get running gun guns blazing. Mm-hmm. And when they find Robert, eventually they kill him. <laughs> like yeah. they point blank shoot that man in the face after smashing his knee with a pipe. Yeah. So it was on sight, <laughs> literally. <laughs> on but, uh, and then of course you know we get that build and just like you see the firefly images all around and you know people trying to recruit like that part in the scene if you mention anything about going towards the light I'm breaking the job right. I'm breaking the <laughs> job <laughs> yeah, right. I'm breaking the job and like other than that uh, <laughs> it is just like they toned down the violence considerably, and it's it's well done. I think it fits. If it's like because it, because you get that haunting beauty of the world, you get that haunting mm-hmm. atmosphere of everything, and and this is all coming from episode one. So you get left to the imagination of well, you got to take an any means necessary approach mm-hmm. because outside these walls. Of this federal zone, we don't know what the f- is out there. Mm-mm. So we're not going to take the risk. Right. <laughs> so either you go get down, or you go you stay go down. down. Exactly. <laughs> and you like, know? oh man, and you so, win yeah. the game, or you part of the ops. <laughs> right, and it's like when they introduce us to Ellie, like it's not even. You don't even meet Ellie at that point. Like nope. she's not. You don't see Ellie chained up. Uh, nope. And let's see. And it's just oh, like you don't even meet Ellie at that point. Like when you mm-hmm. first meet Ellie in the game, Joel and Tess, after doing what they did to Robert, they go to a house and well, they turn a corner, I think, and they run into Marlene who is shot. Uh, she says, basically, you're gonna take. I got some cargo for you. And you're gonna take it to them, mm-hmm. uh, and that's oh, when. And that's out. That's the same Marlene that's actually in the game. Uh, yes, so, absolutely. So Ed, give me uh, like one minute. I'll be right back. Yeah, but like he was saying, you meet Marlene. She like, hey yo, we got some cargo. Joel and then was like, I bet let's do it. It wasn't that tension filled scene where you know when they went to go find the dude who took the battery and found him dead and they had that standoff and nope it was we got some cargo here you go and then of course that's when you know Joel, Ellie, Tess all get the proper introduction and what we were seeing that you know they're going to sneak out and basically that's how they were sneaking out you know through the pipes and everything like that and um, rewind a little bit, just like how we saw before, how much we talk about how the world has devolved, how people was getting these rations and these papers, and you know you had to do these odd jobs just to make money. That was never explored as a thing, and you saw Joe was making a side deal with the federal agent. You know he's trying to get the agent his pills and things and you know payoffs and things all that is a brand new and welcomed construct of the game i mean of the show i mean sorry because we don't get much of the goings on necessarily in the world we just know we're in this dilapidated (laughs) world we're in and we're here so we don't get the fact that there's shady dealings and all this going on it's just the world so now we see fast forward they're sneaking out through the pipe and everything and they run into the agent who (laughs) basically told them hey stay off i told you to stay off the street i'm doing this by the book and you know uh did we learn ellie's secret at that time no we did not okay no um in the game yes but okay. it end, but the show ended right where the game would tell you. Uh, yeah. 
And shout outs to the fact of how they snuck that in there within the last couple of minutes of the show. Right. Because, like, <laughs> it played out kind of the same way the game did. Uh, they're sneaking around. There's federal soldiers everywhere. You go through the pipe. You get caught by one person who you don't even know in the game. Yeah, it's just a faceless know. soldier. Yeah. And he checks and everybody. It checks Ellie. It goes red. They, <clears throat> She stabs him. They kill the soldier. Uh, pick it up. And it shows she's infected. That's where the show ends. The game just keeps going. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> but... Yeah, so it, it they built it up so much differently mm-hmm. than than the game did, and it's just, but it's still a one to one adaptation. Yeah, and it's so good. And then, like you see, and like we said, yes, you see that Ellie is bitten here, and she was right. bitten three weeks ago. Now, right. I now there was a special DLC called Left Behind. Mm-hmm. When they explore what happened, I've never played that DLC. Yeah. Oh, really? I've okay. never played that DLC, but you find out that yes, Ellie was bitten like three weeks ago, and she hadn't turned. So now this turns into a why is she so special? Where are we taking her, and why? Right. Right. So and that's where you know, and then of course. Oh, and shout out to the show for giving you a sneak peek of the code recepts. Because how that one was just splatted on the wall. Yes. Here's the thing, get, though. Get that sneak peek. And there's, and there's going to be so, uh, a little... What they changed was in the game, it was spores. Airborne spores yes. of how people get infected. Which, mm-hmm. if you think about it, doesn't make too much sense when people are still outside. Mm-hmm. Because if they if the infected are also outside, the spores would be outside too. Because there's nothing there killing is. right, so it would just be everybody infected. But uh, come to find out, they changed it from spores to the little uh, tendrils that were in, yeah. like when you saw Grandma's mouth, which, uh, uh, like I forget which version of the game I have because I have both the PS3 and the PS4 version, so. Mm. I think it was a little uh, in some of the art on there or a little uh, commentary. That was the original idea for how it spread uh-huh. with the tendrils. Okay. So it was just scrapped later, but it, but yeah, it so. still works. And like, but my thing is, it took us a long time to find an affected person like that. Yes. Like, like, because, <laughs> because what you saw in the beginning where the humans was just snacking on, you see a bunch of people like that. You right. see just the infected where they were still human to give a little looking forward. They tell us the ones who are fungal like that, right. they've been infected for a minute. For a long time. And like the longer they've been infected, the the worse they look. So, so that would be the that would be the teaser we give right for the rest. so for the rest of the show so like if you see something that looks insane to you just they've know that they've been for, a, a, for a good bit <laughs> so, been, now they don't uh, say how long you need to be infected they just say you've been infected for a little bit if right. you look all plant like and things like that. So right, old right. buddy who was flat on the wall, they've been infected for a bit to look right. like that. Right. Like it and to put and to give more context, for him to be splat on the wall like that meant he could not get out of where he was. Because when you're infected, you constantly roam and look for other things to infect. Mm-hmm. He got stuck. And so the affection just basically planted him on the wall. Yeah. So, like, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, we see a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but, but yeah, shouts out to HBO. I don't know if it's the fact that they actually worked with Neil Druckmann, who actually yes, does yep. the game too. Co-writer, I don't know if it's the co-director. fact. 
I don't know the fact that they gave this show a budget, but to, I never thought I would see a video game adaptation so just well done. Right. Because, I mean, video game adaptation, anime adaptation, cartoon adaptations, we've seen is like, how did y'all mess this up when y'all got source material? Right. And, and with and, this right here, the fact that it's damn near one for one shot like the game. Mm-hmm. Chef's kiss. Just right. Just, chef kiss. just magnifique. Like in the and to, to expand on that, we've gotten many recent game adaptations of shows mm-hmm. and movies that are very well done. This is, I would say, the best live action yes, game adaptation. Absolutely. Absolutely. ever put to media whether absolutely. that be show or media like absolutely other live action <laughs> movies that I would say like even come close you like the other things that I can either think of right now be Arcane the Sonic movies um Castlevania in Arcane's case it's a cartoon so normally right. cartoons can stay very right focused. and like you know uh Castlevania to, did really well. Yeah, it's usually when it comes to live action, that's what we start to Right. The with. Witcher. Um, like it's we've gotten some good stuff because for the longest time <laughs> for the longest time. <laughs> like as big as a game right here, every time something would come out, like <laughs> I'm like, yes, we gonna see it. Like but eventually, like you know, it was just like, okay, I can't, I can't do, I can't watch this much, much more. I can't, no, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> but yeah, and like I mentioned before in my first impressions video, I'm sitting there watching this show, and when it ended, which they gave you a glimpse of how Boston looks now, when mm-hmm. it ended, I got sad as if I never played the game. Mm-hmm. I got sad as if I was like. Oh, and I was like, wait, I played the game. I know right. what happens. <laughs> but I still I, I sat there thinking like they expanded so much on just this beginning and the opening that I think about the game, the first game takes you would take you probably between if you were rushed through it eight hours. If yeah, you were just hours. Take your time and play it normally, you'd probably get it done in about twelve to fifteen. Mm-hmm. So I think like this is just like the the first the first hour and a half of this show is probably like the first hour of the game, like roughly maybe maybe two because you know with the dialogue two. and stuff like that, right? And how they expanded on it so much, I started to think ahead to what else happens in the game. Yes, me too. I was kind of thinking that too, and but, I'm like. Yes. <laughs> I ain't ready, fam. <laughs> Shout out to the actors. Shout out to the the costume, the sets. Oh, everything. Man. everything. Um, well, that's been episode one. Uh probably every Wednesday. We might try to do this every Wednesday. We'll see how it goes. Every right. every Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll see. Um, because we don't want to get it too far. In between, so probably the Tuesdays or Wednesdays, we're gonna bring y'all a spoiler cast of the next episode and where it corresponds in the game. Um, and, thank y'all. Go ahead. And and to add on as a treat in future episodes, the third ninja Iranya will be with us, and she yeah. will give, be giving her perspective from someone who has not played, played. Yeah, any of the games, the games. Yeah. or watch them be played. So yeah. she will be so, fully on just show wise. So, so yeah, you definitely so. gonna get that unique perspective from her. So yeah, Tuesdays and Wednesdays we'll try to knock this out so that way it could be a good in between both the previous and the next. But I'm Scooter Ray. That's Cosmic Boss. Uh, we wouldn't have survived twenty years. Let's just put that out there. We, we, no. we not twenty years. Twenty years. 20 Mm-mm. years no. but uh thank you so far thank you to hbo for bringing this adaptation to life because oh my god right like <laughs> but until next time good people out there in the ninja nation 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Peace. Oh, Amazon, take notes. This you got God of War. Take your notes. Oh, he's throwing shots. He's throwing shots. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. You got the blueprint. Don't don't mess this up. He's throwing shots at the I, end. I, I, I want to curse so bad. <laughs> Don't Bam. mess this up. Like <laughs> if Amazon messes up God of War, I will hey. unsubscribe. Look, be, unsubscribe. Be, my prime will not be renewed. I'll tell you that. <laughs> like, so, but, but anyway. Thank, you, thank y'all again. Until next time, people. Peace. Now, everybody.